the On Semi booth at Electronica 2022. I'm here talking to Paul, who is the, uh, the silicon carbide expert. Now, since we were at Electronica last, silicon carbide has become very popular. Everyone's talking about it. But I think a lot of us don't actually know where it comes from, what makes it a bit different, and where its niche is and, and why we're looking at it. Could you give us a bit of information from an on semi point of view as to why we should be looking at, at silicon carbide? Yeah, silicon carbide is, let's say, the buzzword in the industry because efficiency improvements can be go way beyond IGBTs, ever can do it. So we will see, we see that um, in, power, in photovoltaic for, for, for the uh, energy conversion and in automotive, of course, we see silicon carbide now as an exploding trend and yeah. demand. But there's one big thing in, in silicon carbide, which I will show you now, why it is so difficult to get the material done and why we as a company now massively focus on getting this problem solved and getting material in mass and in volume out to you. But it's uh, clear that for the next few years we will not close the gap. The demand will stay higher than, uh, yeah. than we will be able to supply it all over the business. It's not because it's well, everyone's uh, because looking of the at it, aren't they? Yeah, everyone is interested. Because of interested. the challenges I will tell you about, because okay. it's simply a lot of difference between silicon making and silicon carbide making. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what have we got here? This is the silicon carbide granulate. That's how all things right. start. Right. So, this is already pre sintered so that's why it is so shiny. So that's already ready to go in the oven for making the making the raw material for the for the wafers. Right. And so this that's... will be this will be dumped here. This is an oven. We have right. uh, filled many holes of them yeah. now in in the <laughs> manufacturing side, uh, and we have to because this takes very long. So okay. we need to dump here some some serious material, one two kg, into oh, wow. it. Heat it up to 2,000 degrees until it's steaming up, and here is the seat. Right. And then the steam will 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 settle down on that on that seat and slowly grow uh, on this seat a monocrystal. Right. So it's completely different than silicon. Yes. Silicon, you have this melting, and then you pull with the vacuum a one meter yeah. 80, 12 inch thing in four hours. Right. Here, we're talking seven days, and we're talking not one meter eighty. We're talking about this. What's the outcome? Right. So you can imagine that with this thickness, this is the maximum we can do now. Every year you will see a bit more, but yep. it's but we are not talking about one meter eighty here. This <laughs> that that'll take us a few years to get to one meter eighty. Probably way beyond our retirement. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, so, but this is what's the outcome of this offense is like a puck, like a, so we have to cut the side, we have to cut the front and the end, right. and then this is ready for sawing now. Okay. And with this, we're sawing uh, this material into wafers, yep. and wafers we're processing. So this is then the here. outcome of the, of the whole thing, already processed, this is the ready-made wafer. Right. And uh, with this needs to be sliced and cut as well, which is a totally different challenge because silicon carbide is uh, much more stiff and hard than silicon. So right. there so was a lot a bit of... more fragile then, I guess. It takes much longer and it takes, and it's okay. more, it's much more wearing out the material. So a standard silicon saw is basically kind of diamond coated. Right. Uh, you have to change the blade after each sawing if you do it with this one. So it's not really a <laughs> volume solution. Yeah. So there was a lot of inven in inventions going into that. And we are getting faster now with cutting. We are getting better. And uh, the, all the vendors for, for, for our factories also searching, researching since a few years. Yeah. yeah. But this is uh, on every step you see we have much, much more challenge. And 
in the yeah. end, the, the volume you get out of this chain is much, much lower than over time than it will ever be with silicon. Yeah. That's yeah. the main reason, or one of the main reasons we say uh, there is no chance that we will cope with the demand in the next yeah. years. So we need to use silicon and silicon carbide. We need to They're use silicon and silicon carbide in a clever balance, yes. Right. So we're um, moving on here to the actual products. products. So this yeah. is what we actually sell, what we have on our web pages, what you can buy from us. And, and from future. And from future as well, <laughs> yes, future. of course. <laughs> Our valued partner in the, in the, in the value chain. <laughs> and uh, so on top level, we have the discrete parts, which right. are, I would say the discrete is always a good solution when you start with something, you build it up, you don't know exactly uh, what you want to do or you're not so, so restrained. And it's, it's still great and still valid. So we are yeah. still offering them. We recently came up with a TO leadless, um, which is uh, the first one in 650 volt SIG MOSFET in TO leadless. In order to do that, to get this grippage, we had to play a bit with the package details. Right. So, but we now we are fully compliant in grippage and we can, you can use a 33 okay. milli ohm 650 in a very small package now. This is a very sexy product yeah. in a way. Yeah? For an engineer, it's a sexy <laughs> product. The other thing which came up in the market nowadays more and more and a kind of a must for a, for a silicon carbide is this uh, Kelvin source 4-pin TO247. Right. Um, why are we doing that? Um, because you always uh, need a... Um, you need a, as clean contact as po uh, ground contact as possible for the yeah. gate. So you need uh, you, we are using kind of a Kelvin connection to the to the source in order for the gate driver to be not uh, not influenced from the parasitic uh, source. Yeah. And then here this is the standard industrial portfolio. We are offering it in all kinds, in silicon and in uh, in silicon carbide, and with all topologies you need to make uh, your, your, your design as efficient as possible. And then we go from here to the car. So this is the onboard chargers. Right. We have, we're offering here solutions from all the way down from two, two three kilowatts all the way up to 30, uh, 22, 24 kilowatts. Oh my goodness, yes. And uh, of course for the three kilowatts we don't use uh, silicon carbide. It makes no sense. Yeah. We use super junctions there. Then we transit to silicon carbide in the uh, in the end. So only when it's needed, we should use it. Yeah, because it and then becomes more power efficient. It's when you've less, got a lower less, power, less losses, yes, yeah. and when, higher when thermal more... conductivity. So it's you have you can get you yeah. can handle more power yeah. with the same form factor. Yeah. And then last but not least, our traction side, where we re where we released uh, last year in October the. Um, uh, the, the, the SSDCs with 1.7 milliohm and 2.2 milliohm for the low voltage battery rail, as a 900 yep. volt parts for 400 volt rail car. And this is for the high voltage rail, the half bridges. We are just released uh, as well in December, I think, yeah. last year. So about a year out in the market yeah. and they are just ramping now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so we just need to try and keep up with the demand. <laughs> yeah, that is that is really the key, and I can just say, use it, but use it only when you really need it. It's uh, otherwise yeah. it's it's not worse. Yeah, yeah. The, because you might risk not to get it yeah. when you're in volume. Yeah. So, so as you said to me earlier, you don't want to drive a Ferrari to the supermarket. It's a great car, but you got nowhere to put your shopping. <laughs> Same with silicon carbide. You use what's appropriate. Exactly. For the time. Thank you for, it was a great time. <laughs> yes, Enjoy for it. me too. Thank you. I've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs>